One of the most common frustrations that patients share with me about their previous dental experiences is how hard it's been for them to get straight answers out of their old dentist. It seems like there's a lot of dentists out there who either don't take the time or don't listen well enough to really understand what their patient wants. I'll tell you what I mean. I met a patient named Bob the other week. Bob was in his 50s and had a really typical dental experience up to this point. When he came to see me, he had a couple of broken teeth, a couple of missing teeth. He'd had lots of crowns, lots of fillings in the past. He was no stranger to the dental office. Bob was looking for some improvement in his bite and in his smile. Now he wasn't looking for a Hollywood perfect smile. He wasn't trying to get on the cover of a magazine. What he told me is that he just wanted things to look and feel like they did back when he was in his 30s. He really just wanted to feel happy and confident when he ate and smiled again. I asked Bob if he had ever brought up these concerns to his old dentist because it was obvious from looking in his mouth that he had been to the dentist a lot through his entire life. Bob said that he had tried to bring up the concerns he had about the way his smile looked and felt to lots of dentists in the past, but they all seemed to brush him off. They would say things like, well, that's just the way it is, or there's not a lot we can do about that, or it's not that bad, or they'd say, well, let's just leave it for now, and one day we'll deal with it if it gets worse. Well, from Bob's point of view, it was important, and it was important for him right now. If it wasn't a big deal to him, then he never would have brought it up. Bob eventually got so frustrated that he just gave up bringing up his concerns anymore. He started to believe his old dentist that this is just the way it is, there's not a lot that can be done, and that he shouldn't be talking about these things anymore. He should just be grateful that his problems weren't worse than what he actually had. I think dentists tend to brush off concerns like these for one of three reasons. One is that they're just not taking the time to listen. The second reason is that they don't want to be the bearer of bad news. They don't want to tell the patient that this is a really hard problem to fix. Or third, they know there's a problem, but they don't know what the solution is. So their solution is just to ignore the problem and pretend it doesn't exist. Well, that solution wasn't good enough for Bob, but it shouldn't be good enough for you. At our dental practice, Smiling Dental, we promise no lectures, no judgment, no pressure, but we also promise to tell you the truth. We're not here to shame you, we're not here to judge you or make you feel bad about your situation or about your choices. Our job is to understand where you've been in the past, what you want your smile to look and feel like in the future, and then help you get from here to there. So if you're looking for a dentist who actually listens to your concerns, who won't brush away your concerns or the things that are important to you, then come check us out at Smiling Dental. We'd be happy to meet with you and see if we're a good fit to work together.